adoration, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel who do well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity. And also, we'll see you women and children keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass and salvation is very near. Okay, I'm your brother Bashar. But last and definitely not least, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of his beloved son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Akakwadash is the Holy Spirit. Alright, um, Yahweh. Uh, meaning he exists or he is to be. Yahweh Shai is he saves or he delivers. Okay. Rakakwadash is spirit holy. Pronounced in the English as Holy Spirit. Alright, um Slaki, I'm driving right now. So I'm kind of talking a little bit you know, Slaki if I'm talking a little slower than usual. Um, but the message that I want to bring out is to don't tempt the Lord. You know, we gotta look we, we see a lot of um camps out there tempting the Lord by pushing these uh these doctrines that uh basically please the flesh. Okay? You got IOIC, just to name a few, you got um you got Sakari pushing that the uh, that you can basically have sex on the Sabbath, which we are on the Sabbath right now, and um, you're not supposed to be having sex on the Sabbath. Okay, um, this is a a, a a holy day. You gotta keep your you gotta you gotta uh, remain clean on this day. All right, when you have sex, the scriptures speak about. How you're unclean when you have sex, but I, I didn't want to go on a rant on that particular subject. But you know, all through the spirit, they had to come out. So um, the message, the main point of this lesson is to don't tempt the Lord. Okay, I gave a few examples, and uh, when you go into the Book of Galatians, the sixth chapter, the seventh verse, it speaks about how the Lord is not mocked. Okay. Now you you can try to exalt yourself as much as you want, but the scriptures speak about those who try to puff themselves up. You know, it says that that they will become a base. Um, you know, roughly paraphrasing, uh, I'll put it in the description. The scriptures say um, those who exalt themselves shall become a base again if you want to see that scripture is in the is in the description um and that's what a lot of these guys do they get into the scriptures and they find out the scriptures have power and they want to use the scriptures to exalt their their ego okay and um when you do that you're basically tempting the Lord because in this ministry you have to understand that nobody knows that they are chosen okay the scriptures say many were called few were chosen so you can you can boast yourself up and, and try to you know as if you're looking in a, in a in a mirror, like you're just that, like you're just the one, you know, seeking glory. Um, but uh, we have to understand that right now in this particular state. We are our 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 righteousness is a is as filthy rags. Okay? 
So, yeah, we're pushing the truth, but we still have to have that mindset that we ain't shit, man. Okay? We are rehearsing the righteous acts in hopes of in hopes to be the in hopes to be delivered. And this time that we were given is not to this time of grace, this grace period is a time to, to humble ourselves and to submit ourselves unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Through his word, through the, the doctrine which is preached through men. Okay? And the scriptures say that you shall know them by their fruits. Okay, so all you gotta do is research and and try and um and uh listen to what somebody is saying and verify if what they're saying is true through the scriptures. Okay. And you know who to follow. But if you want to be lazy, what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up following just anybody. And just like the scriptures say, the blind, the blind leadeth the blind, and they both fall into a ditch. So you're just setting yourself up for failure by following people who. Who are uh, self-glorifying themselves. Or, 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 or uh, boasting them, them, themselves up. So it's very important to, to, to have an independent thought in this thing. You have to have an independent thought. You have to be able to go and. And, 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 and use your mind to go into the scriptures and verify what's being taught. And the Lord will reveal it unto you. You just gotta listen and you gotta you gotta pray. The scriptures say, ask and ye shall receive. That's what the scriptures say. So if you if you approaching this thing of ours with a sincere heart the Lord is going to suck with you but if you're not you're going to be lost in in, in the sauce so, so to speak alright and even even that's te that's tempting the, the Lord, okay, and it goes to show that when you're dealing with this book, when you're dealing with the words of the Most High, you are dealing with something that's not to be played with, that's to be taken seriously. If you don't feel as though you, that you can do that. You know, by all means, just leave it alone, man. Go into the world. Be the person who you used to be. Okay? If you don't feel like you can take this, this truth seriously. Because believe it or not, You're tempting, you're tempting the Lord. All right, it's like playing with somebody's words out in the world. Okay,
There's a saying out there in the world is, yo, don't put words in my mouth. Now, the average Joe doesn't like that. How much more the most high? The scriptures say in the book of Revelation of the, the last verse, I mean, the last chapter, it speaks about how whosoever addeth and taketh away from this word will be judged. I'll also put that in the description as well. By the way, all the scriptures that I'm that I'm quoting, I will put it in the description. I'm, I'm driving right now. Um, Spirit just jumped on me to do a quick lesson. So, uh, with that, I'm just going to leave it right there. Um, I, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakadash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and sincerity, and also unto you women and children. Keep on enduring, because these prophecies are coming to pass. Salvation is very near. This is your brother Bashar. Shalom.